Hi, today how to fix an extractor fan timer circuit. These things often go after a few years. Um, sometimes the timer won't work properly. Uh, it should stay on for 15 minutes after the light is turned off in a bathroom for instance. Um, but it'll either go off straight away. This particular one goes a bit uh, do lally. It goes uh, on and off all the time, whether the light is on or off. Um, drives me mad because it's going on, off, on, off all of the time. Quite often electronic circuits, uh, it's possible to see what is actually wrong with them by a visual inspection. Sometimes the capacitors will be bulging. Uh, the resistor in this case is a bit suspicious because it uh, surface is somewhat cracked, like it's got rather hot. This is the, uh, I believe this is the resistor, <coughs> pardon me, that um, drops the voltage uh, down from mains 240 volts in this case down to a more usable probably something like 9 or 12 volts um, so biggest suspects here resistor capacitors um, the only other active well one of the only other um, active elements is the chip which is a very common CMOS chip a 4001 or HCF 4001 BE to be uh, exact to zoom in on that um, so if possible, um, well sorry, if uh, that has failed, it's dead easy to replace as well. Uh, these extractor fans of course are very cheap, um, probably £20 or so would get you a brand new one. Uh, so most people don't bother repairing these things. But uh, if you, it's quicker to repair it, then go out to a shop and buy one. Or you just like fixing things, then by all means have a go. So first of all, um, turn off the mains voltage. These things are fed with a permanent live as well as the switched live from the light socket. Uh, somewhere you should have an isolator switch. Uh, so fully isolate it, if in doubt, uh, switch off uh, the main fuse box. Get an electrician screwdriver, test that you haven't got any live feed. This at the moment is uh, still connected, so this live feed should show up as being on. Yep, so you probably can't see it on this light. But let me see if I can see it. Yeah, just about dimly there. You can see when you put your thumb on the end, there's a little light there showing up. It shows that we've got live mains on that input there. So I'll go and isolate it. And then we'll change some of these capacitors, measure that resistance, see if we can replace it, and then test it again. Okay, so measured a few component um, parameters. So, for instance, this rather burnt out um, resistor over here. Uh, it's coloured uh, red, red, orange just about, which is 22 colour ohms. And with my multimeter set on the resistance scale, it does indeed read 22 colour ohms, so it doesn't seem to be anything wrong with that. Uh, did a diode test on some of the diodes. Uh, those were okay. Measured a few resistance values. Not too many components on here to measure. And as I mentioned earlier, the most likely uh, component to fail are these uh, capacitors. So I've actually changed two of them. Uh, so this was a 47 microfarad 16 volt. I've actually changed to 100 microfarad 25 volt just because that's what I had in my spares box. Uh, this one's not too critical because if, if we actually trace through the diagram or the, uh, the wiring, um, then that is actually acting to smooth out the voltage supply to the chip. Now these chips have a ground connection on pin 7 and a power on, on pin 14 which is over there and if you look at how they're wired then pin 14 connects over to this side the positive side of the capacitor and the negative side goes over to pin 7 so you know that capacitor is performing the job of smoothing out the power supply the main timing capacitor was a capacitor that was placed on here 330 microfarad a uh, normal electrolytic one uh, in my spares box uh, I've actually made up uh, 340 microfarads out of these tantalum capacitors um, pretty old but tantalum capacitors are actually better than normal electrolytic because they have less leakage so if there was a problem with that capacitor these capacitors are going to be better uh, not pretty I admit um, rather lashed together but I'm going to put some insulating tape around that to stop those wires from uh, coming into contact with anything else to make it safe enough and position it well away from this resistor that obviously gets a little bit hot as well. So we'll put it back 
uh, in the wired up um, situation and see if that is any better. And that was enough to fix the unit. Uh, obviously with those bigger capacitors the lid didn't fit on. Uh, it doesn't matter in this application because it's hidden well out of the way. Um, so don't give me any comments about looking a bit bodgy, which it does. Uh, but that's enough to fix it. It runs consistently. Uh, time is set for about six minutes. Uh, I think perhaps those capacitors, because they're very old, the capacitance value has gone down compared to what's printed on them. But uh, it's good enough for now. And it's stopped it going off and on and has given us a time period where it runs after the light has been switched on. So, very simple fix. Change the capacitors and your fan timer will start working again. If it's anything like mine. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye.